Hello and welcome to a new season of iRacing. We are here in Arca, as we have been typically in the past to start the week. But we are in more of like a Gen 4 waiting room because we are still waiting on the first race ever, first official race ever of the Gen 4 cars. On iRacing, which is basically the Arca car with more engine power, which is, you know, that's a Gen 4 car. But uh, everybody's on iRacing. The first session of the Gen 4 did not go up properly because the uh, season starting algorithm or whatever they do to switch the seasons over apparently uh, took a little longer to set up than usual, and so we missed the first. Uh, time slot at 7.30. It never happened. Green flag, green flag. So it's not just me, nobody got to sign up for that. And instead, now we've got good old Arca to fall back on. And so you've got a ton of people that were ready to do Gen 4, now doing some Arca while we wait. <laughs> You'll notice I, I'm taking lap 1 kind of easy here. You can't get up to speed quite yet on lap one, and so what I'm doing is I'm being nice to my tires until three and four here, getting a good run to the line, one more lap. and now we'll see what we can do here. Hopefully a good lap. I'm hoping we can get a good lap because otherwise our first lap was pretty Doo doo. Okay. Got a pretty good three and four there. We'll cut the apron. Got a five three six. Could have been better. Could have been worse. I'll take that. My best uh, in practice was a four six seven. Five three six isn't too far off, so uh, I'll be happy with that, especially as the 18 car. Just absurd. <laughs> 5.3k strength of field. We had over 300 people signing up for ARCA races. So this ought to be good. This ought to be real good. Wow, look at that. 30.3 on the pole. That's a lap. Wowzers. So we got Larry Pace in here. JP. We're going to send JP a good luck. And uh, hopefully he does well. There he is. I don't know if I can yell him. <laughs> him. So we see a couple names we've seen before, um, including John Theodore. I haven't seen him in a while. I think uh, he was taking a break, and he's actually coming back for, like, uh, um, for the Gen 4, I think. I thought they would all be in the Gen. He might not know that the first session. That's the end of the session. Tenth position. Heck yeah, he gets it. <laughs> so we will start off P11. So just tons of fast guys in here. I'm just gonna try to keep it clean. Try to get us ourselves a solid finish. I mean, just a like absurdly strong. Um, competition here. Just got wrecked and I see open. One to go. Next time I tried to do our uh, last race of the week at Phoenix. And uh, I already had stuff ready to upload and I want to upload like the Gen 4 tonight as soon as possible and so I didn't really have any time. Like no one really, I mean I don't want to say no one, but not too much point in releasing a video of something nobody's going to be able to race themselves. <laughs> and uh, in the middle of the next week after it's over. So I was just going to not record it, have fun, and uh, I was in first place. 
I was good on fuel because I had been saving fuel for a long time and I was just barely going to make it. Nobody else in the field could make it. Things were looking fantastic. Then a caution came out. Because of course it did. And uh, the restart, everybody ran over each other, including me. And we exploded and died. And that was not fun. No it was obvious from the start because we had a bunch of teenagers just being absolute hooligans on the mic. So it was immediately obvious I was going to get wrecked at some point. But, you know, you get false hope when you start leading the race and leading laps and look like you're going to win. And then you remember, oh, yeah, the dog leg lets you be 28 wide. And they will make it 29 wide. And that's what happened. So, I mean, I even backed off because they were just being complete idiots. And then they just wrecked in that narrow straight away heading into the final corner, you know? They all just uh, wrecked in that narrow, and then I got hit from behind, and just, I was part of it. There was no avoiding it, so. Going to put that one behind me, hopefully have a better race here, right? Is this a first gear start? That looks like a first gear start. How about that? Vegas is fun. I will still be racing the ARCA car all season, I imagine, because, I mean, this is my favorite car on iRacing, the Gen 4. It may very well usurp it from the top spot. But you know I'm still going to race my second favorite car, if that's the case. <laughs> Even if it is kind of similar. About to go green. Stay focused. And uh, we're starting the season off with ARCA this time. All right, I can't see. Couldn't see a darn thing. All right, that's pretty aggressive. Not really necessary, I don't think, but okay. He's going to put it centimeters in front of me to cut me off right on the start here. But I guess he was clear, so. And we have at it, I guess. We got someone on our outside. Stay low. There was a car on the high side. Hey. Eh. 13th place. Stay low. There was a car on the high side. Don't remember exactly how to run this. I know you don't really have brakes, or you don't need to use them anyway. You have brakes, you better use them if they crash, but... <laughs> uh, I don't recall exactly, like, how you want to run it. This guy's just going to stay on, on our outside the whole race and ruin both of our tires, so... That stinks, but... Can't really do anything about that. He, if that's how he wants to do it, he'll do it that way, I guess. And we'll just continue losing more and more time. Oh, it's Lewandowski. <laughs> I'm talking smack on Lewandowski. I don't know. Maybe that's Larry wants to be, but... I gotta question it. Let's just stay out there, huh? I mean, am I supposed to back off? I'm on the inside. You'd think on the outside backs off. But. Ooh, careful on that apron. Kind of pulled me sideways there. Well, I guess we just back off. So, we probably just used way too much tire. Neither of us wanted to give up the side-by-side. -side. Car feels tight already. That's not good.
setup feels really tight. I really wish this was a little bit of a looser setup, because I'm not feeling it right now. Not feeling like I'm able to get on the right rear. Get past, maybe, maybe not. Inside. Keep high. Still inside. Clear inside. I really don't know what I'm supposed to be doing, to be honest. If I'm supposed to do big lifts off, or if I'm supposed to stay in the throttle so that way I'm driving it loose, I'm really not sure. It's not feeling loose though, it's feeling like I'm driving directly on the right front. Twenty-four is going to the apron. Trying bigger lift off. Trying to get this thing to drive loose, it's not happening though. I don't know if I'm going to be heading the right direction by the end of this thing. Seems like it's hard for anyone to get much of a run or anything. We're all just kind of running single file right now. Finish up uh, first quarter of the race. Trying to get this thing turning without using my steering wheel too much. I mean, judging by how those first laps went, I almost feel like you want to try to pass on the outside. Maybe I'm crazy, but. Pop back up to so this kind of this group here, probably because I'm overdriving in some capacity. It's kind of running a lane up, trying to maybe protect from me getting on his outside. He might know that's uh, gonna be the way to go around. Oh man, the car's tight. Man, I'm gonna get used to full throttling this thing and driving so hard, and then I'm gonna jump into Gen 4 and immediately spin it. I think that's what's gonna happen to me. Not, uh, I'm gonna get used to this low power and stuff. We can't go anywhere. I guess we'll see uh, what happens, what starts happening to tires here in a little bit, but right now it's feeling like a whole lot of nothing's happening. Except everybody's getting tighter. Or it's just me. That could be it too. You can see, like, pretty much everyone up ahead is single file. Trying different things, trying to let off the throttle a little bit, but it just breaks all my momentum. And then they start pulling away a little bit. Wendowski going go to the inside of the 24. Is he going to be able to make that pass? That was at
I don't think he is, right? Like, I just don't see it happening. Yeah. Holds him off for now. This thing's plowing. Okay. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. All right, we got around it. We're, we're fine. We're fine. Take it easy now. We're fine. Those are some free spots, I guess. Sorry, 23. I had no idea that they were wrecking. Wrecking! Oh, good. I think I'm alright. Kind of a weird place to wreck right there. I'm not sure what might have happened. Might have been a miscommunication. Someone going to the apron or not going to the apron, maybe. Or coming back up from the apron. Could have been a couple of those types of deals. You again? And the five who had that blazing fast wall speed. Looks like he's falling off. Maybe with damage. Don't know. I used a little bit of brakes that corner. It's feeling so tight. I didn't think we were going to need them, but. I guess I'm glad I moved him back now. I was due out of habit. Move him all the way back. We're gonna get to his inside. He's gotta have damage, right? There's no way he's falling off that bad. I mean, I've been driving just about as hard as you possibly can. So far. Oh, I did not work. I'm not doing that again. I want to try to clear him. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Outside is clear. There you go. Well, we're P11. That's pretty good. Top 10 would be just fantastic. As the 18 car. Gotta remember, the goalposts are different here in a race this strong. This one, guys, ahead maybe... Drifting up out of the line, we could still see some wrecks. And let's not forget, we're only halfway through this thing, too. There still could be some tire-related surprises for us. Whether it's me falling off hard or other guys falling off. That actually was kind of great, what I just felt right there. I got my left sides on the white line just a tad, and it actually rotated it a little bit. I kind of wish I knew that earlier. Maybe I would have been doing that from the start, or at least trying to in order to get some rotation. Take some apron right there. Not sure if that's the right move or not, but we're gonna try it. Get us about two hundredths, maybe. Enter too shallow, turn in a little bit too early, and that was that's gonna make it a bad corner. Side by side up ahead though, could slow them down, bring us bring them to us a little. You've just done thirty-two point three. Kinda like it using a little bit of brake, not being afraid to do that. That might be what we need. That number eight has been saving, I think, and he's catching up to us pretty good. This feels like we can't do anything. It's gonna catch us. I don't wanna fight side by side with him for a year and a half. Because obviously he's doing better right now. At 19 up there, all the way up to the wall. I don't know if that was intentional or not. Ooh, 24 maybe in the wall, unless that was prediction code. Nonsense. We got a whole two seconds back to 14th. Or rather, 13th. 
which is good to see. So even if we start falling off, we hopefully won't fall off that hard. We're not even kept keeping up with the top 10 though right now. Got the apron a little bit there. I don't think it was actually any good though. I think that just kind of slowed me down. Maybe took a little bit too much of a bite out of it. So I'm probably going to end up letting this 8 go on the back stretch. Set up a pass though. I'm not just going <laughs> to dive out of his way because he decides he's going to pass right then and there. I'm going to take my arc into the corner. I think he probably could have gotten me on the back stretch, but he checked up on injury because I took my normal line. got cars doing kickflips up there. That's a broken wheel or something. That's a, a mechanical error is what that is. That's very unfortunate for whoever that was. I didn't see. I think it might have been the 19. But we are now in the top 10. You're in the top 10. Went four in the wall. I think that really was a wall at that time because I think he lost some distance, maybe. Are we going to get wrecked by the eight who's just going to stick his nose where it doesn't belong? Set up a pass. I will take my normal line. If it takes us both out, that's your fault. says that person lost connection. It sure looks like they had like a mechanical fair. Maybe they did like an Alt F4 thing. And it says that. As a result, 24 is looking like uh, he's dealing with some serious tight race car. Could we catch up to him potentially? Great job. Get to go. He is just insisting to hit that wall in turn one. We don't have a very good run off of two. Dog, what happened? I'm surprised we're not falling off worse. It looked like that eight was going to catch us real fast, but he's just been kind of not setting anything up. Kind of just dove it in low on entry a couple of times, but can't really go anywhere at that. Inside. There he dives it in. Stay it's going to come up correct me. No. Thankfully not. I think we can hold him off as long as we keep this high side. Look at all that momentum he lost doing that. Twenty-four is trying to high side. I'm curious if that'll work. My guess is no. Someone else trying to high side up there, but that's uh, a little bit too high. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Things are starting to look racy up there. Breaked a little bit too hard on entry right there. Missed my turn in, kinda. I'm the six to go. Oh my goodness, they are moving around up there. The 
This could definitely get interesting. Just need the eight to not wreck me. Car outside. Clear outside if you want it. Outside. Get to the 24 is inside. Stay low. There is a car on the right side. There's five laps to go. Keep low. I'm gonna get the run off. Stay low. There is a car on the right side. Clear high. Might have been a mistake. Trying to pass him low. Because now the eight's on our outside. Still there, hold your line. Keep line. He's gonna turn down and wreck us. Sure looks like he's trying. <laughs> Can't make a clean pass, I see. Whatever, at least we didn't wreck. Hooked our right side. So, since he can't make a clean pass, we'll see if he takes out the 24. I don't know, maybe I came up. We'll see, probably, in the, in the incidents, but sure felt like he was pinching me a little bit too hard. we got two laps to go. I'm actually catching back up to him after a failed pass attempt. I think he's kind of making that higher line work. I don't think I want to try it though. I don't think I can make that go any faster than what I'm already doing. You just got the white flag. That means one more lap to go. White flag, one more lap. That lap time was 32.5. Oh, this is going to get scary. Okay, 24 is just going to turn down off the wall. Shit, Thomas, my screen totally went black on the next corner. Jesus Christ, eight. I gotta make the corner, eight. Well, come on, man. That's the end of the race. All right. Yeah, eight doesn't know how to pass cleanly. Good race, good one. You knocked your wheels out of alignment. Nice run. Good race, well, good race. I thought you hit like maybe the apron or something down there. <laughs> that was scary though. That's stupid. Good race, huh? that was fun. Yeah, I can't, I can't believe, believe I didn't rank. I mean, it was it was totally black. Yeah, eight just sends him right into the wall. I really, I just. He just came down right in front of me. I thought it, I was hoping he was gonna stay up there, but he got unsettled. I guess we got a top ten, but it was uh, it was interesting. I guess um, we'll go back and see how that pass unfolded uh, against us. I might be speaking too soon again yeah no he came down and hit me so I mean you can see we're all the way on the white line he just turns down all the way down there hitting my right rear and that's pushing me up toward him right now we're hooked it may not look like it but we're hooked right now and so it's pulling me up toward him. My momentum is just sent over to the right. 
So thankfully, I felt it happening, and so what I do is, as it's pulling me, I, I let off the gas, which is, you know, always great to do on a straightaway, and then uh, pull to the left. 4967, yeah. Yeah, would have been nicer for a looser setup. But uh, I guess we did okay compared to some other guys. Like, we had a... Well, I guess not. JP. Less on his right front. <laughs> yes. So hopefully that means uh, Lewandowski will be there. I complain at him early on, but it was, I don't know, it easily could have just been me, me as well. Racing too hard. Being stubborn. <laughs> as always, ignore basically everything I say when I'm driving. That's just stress and grumpiness. Once I look back, I'm like, I am such a sour sport <laughs> when I drive. I'm just the grumpiest worst person. So, <laughs> I promise. I don't actually mean to be that way. Ooh, there the 13. Clears himself on the 5. I don't think the 5 knew he was actually going to slide up in front of him. And that's how I guess the 5 maybe got some damage. What ended up- where did he end up going? Yeah, he fell back hard. He had some damage, as I suspected. Oh no, I didn't even see that! That's Lu that's Larry, isn't it? Dang. Yeah, Larry. That sucks. Just an innocent bystander right there. So those are a couple free spots we got. Just nothing Larry can do there. He was completely not even part of that until he was. That's cruel. Twenty-one sliding in front of the seventeen who will not lift for him. How did this turn start? So this, the turn starts the twenty-one leaving a lane for the seventeen up high and the seventeen getting on the outside. Huh. That's a tough one. I guess the 17 is going for the crossover. The 17 may be a little low. The 21 maybe could be a little higher. I think it was just a miscommunication on where they thought the other person was going to be. And unfortunately, where he ended up was right in his rear bumper. Which is not good for the car. Oops, sorry. Uh, there was whatever that happened there. It said disconnect. Maybe I guess that must have been what it was. That or computer trouble or something. But that was another free spot we didn't deserve. Five's got his damaged car. That stinks for him too, because he had the pull time. He obviously was very fast. Twenty-four trying that high line. Larry out here probably being one of the fastest cars on track, but unfortunately had to get a new car already. I didn't miss anything today. So here's the eights. Is this when he comes down and gets me? Or 24 up in the wall. 24 is getting in the wall quite a bit. Yeah, now there's he, there he is turning down. I mean, am I too far up? I mean, I'll look at it again. I want to keep an open mind. I don't want to just assume everybody else is wrecking me. 
I want to make sure I'm doing things right. But to me, it seems like at this point in the corner, you know, already kind of exiting too, I'm pretty darn low on the track. I think I'm kind of aimed, you know, to go out for, to a second lane. You know, if I'm the inside car, I'm going out to the second lane, leaving a lane up top. I feel like I am angled to do so. I mean, you've got these quote unquote lanes on the track. You can look at the seams, but of course, you know, usually people will drive just a little bit below that, but even still. I don't know, maybe it's got an excuse like he thinks the 24, he's going to be three wide on the exit. You know, I don't, you know, maybe that's just something about it, but. And then we getting hooked together at this point. You see, it's bringing me up, and then it's kind of pulling him down as he gets loose on exit. I'm very lucky to be, have been able to save that and not lose any spots. The 20 having a great race in P4. Where did he end up? Right there in P4. That's a great run for the number 20. Shout out to the 11, too, with the win. He was also, like... Killing it at Atlanta. At, oh, at. Uh, eh. Sorry. <laughs> he was also the winner at this race, just absolutely killing it at Old Atlanta. Something about that was a tongue twister, I'm sorry. But, uh. <laughs> he also is getting it done here at Las Vegas, so he's, he's pretty good. Shout out to him as well. Man, I think these are just tires hitting 50%. I think people's right, right fronts were hitting that critical point. My theory always being that... Uh, yeah, there, I think the 14 maybe was a little bit off the wall. We can look at this. I didn't really look at their involvement yet. I think the 24 is coming off the wall, but it was also net code. Because they didn't actually touch. That could have uh, angered the 8 enough that he decided that he was not going to give the 24 enough room in this corner. I mean, they, they kind of get hooked a little bit, even. Like, I'm thinking they're close enough they're getting hooked. But he's definitely not lifting, which, you know, final corner, final lap, not too surprising. But, I mean, he just, you know, pancakes him into the wall. no regard for him. You know, fortunately, that'll bring us to a... Oh! Only 4x. I thought I had an 8x. I guess that first contact didn't bring any incident, so that was our only incident there. But I uh, would have liked to avoid the 24. Car kind of reacted in a weird way, because I hit him square and sent his car up in the air. And then it kind of like, the weight pushes down on my nose and like weirdly sends me to the right. I'm glad that I was able to make it across the line, and we actually kind of fuddle finish <laughs> the 24 here. You can see we're both kind of crashing across the line. Let's take a look at it, how close that was. Oh, the camera's kind of weird because he's sideways already. Oh wow, that was very close. <laughs> I knew it was close. My poor broken car. The smushed grape. But, uh... That was our finish to that race. Could have been cleaner, but, you know, I guess I'd rather wreck across the line and keep my spot than any other time. And uh, as the 18, finishing top 10, I said that would be great, and uh, I still feel that way. So, I will take it. And that'll do it for first race of the week, first race of the season here in Arca. We get ourselves a top 10. And uh, some other good finishers that we all know up here. It's pretty fun. Um, I always enjoy racing the Arca car. It maybe could have been better. I think looser setup, being able to fight loose, could have uh, helped that not be such a train. But I can't hate you, Arca. It's okay. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I will see you next time. I'm going to head off to some Gen 4. Very exciting. I hope to see you there, or at least uh, see you in the comments of that one. <laughs> Have a good one.